Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Student, hope all of you are good and safe in your homes. Today we are going to discuss the topic of circle. You people look at your homework. Do exercise 6.2, question 3, book page 128 on rough copy. First we discuss the topic of book page 126 on pa pa book page 126 on 127 and then we move toward the exercise to solve the question clear so kindly you people open your maths book book page 126 okay look at to book page 126 okay this is book page 126 this is the topic of circle this is a circle you people look at this is the center of the circle Look at here, this is a circle. A circle has no side. A circle is a closed round figure. What is a circle? A circle has no side. Look at to the rectangle. A rectangle has three sides. But a circle has no side. It's a closed round figure. A circle is a closed round figure. Okay? And a triangle and a square four side in a rectangle four side in a triangle three side but in circle no side it's a round figure closed figure okay look at a point o is inside the circle is called center of the circle this point o is called center of the circle Every point on the circle has equal distance from the center. Every point on the circle has equal distance from the center. Clear? What is a circle? A circle is a round figure, a round closed figure. A circle has no side. And O is called center of the circle. Every point on the circle has equal distance from the center. Clear? What is this O? This O is called center of the circle. This is important point for you people, for objective point of view. Okay? Every point on the circle is equal distance from the center. What is a circle? A circle has no side. A circle is a clo closed round figure. And this one O, a point O is inside the circle is called center of the circle. This is center of the circle. Every point on the circle has equal distance from the center. Clear? Move toward book page 127. Okay, look at to book page 127. This is a new topic for you people. Radius of a circle. Radius of a circle. Look at to this circle. Okay, take a point A on the circle. This is a point A on the circle. Join point A with the center O. Join point A with the center O. The line segment OA is called radius of the circle. This line segment is called radius of the circle. Okay. You people just take a point on the circle. Join this one point to the center. So this short point, this short line segment is called, this short distance is called line segment. Sorry radius this line segment is called radius this short distance which name is line segment is called radius okay in other words the distance between o and a is called radius of the circle o and a is called radius of the circle in other words the distance between O A is called radius of the circle. In the figure, O A is the radius and O B is also radius. 
O A is radius and O B is also radius because its end points lie on the circle okay and it's joined to the point the center point since every point on the circle has equal distance from the center therefore o a is equal to o b hence radii of the circles are equal means the distance of o a o b are any point you people take here o c is equal clear if you people join this line to this point clear okay now move toward the diameter okay first we read the radius then we move toward the diameter in the figure we take a point a on the circle again look at to this figure here is three point a o and b join point a with center o and extend it to the point b on the circle now you people take point a join it to point o at the center of the circle and then you people extend it to point b on the circle such a line segment a b is called the diameter of the circle you people just look it half this line half this circle okay it's make half to this circle so a line which pass through the center of the circle is called a diameter a and b are called the end points of the diameter these are these two are the end points clear and this align segment whose end points lie on the circle and which passes through the center of the circle is called diameter of the circle the align segment whose end points lie on the circle and which pass through the center of the circle is called diameter of the circle diameter of a circle is double of the radius of the circle diameter of the circle is equal to 2 radius so in simple word what is a diameter half of a circle is called diameter or when you people join two radius two radius it makes one diameter and from diameter definition you people can easily make definition of radius just like this half of diameter half of diameter is called radius half of a diameter is called radius and a line which passes through the center of the circle and whose end points lie on the circle is called diameter or in more simple word half of a circle is called diameter okay a line which half a circle a line segment that half a circle is called diameter or which pass through the center of the circle clear so this is a simple definition okay you people underline these points for you people for yourself these are important for objective point of view okay and we move toward your exercise your homework okay okay this is exercise 6.2 this is question number three book page 128 okay this is your homework okay your homework is to exercise 6.2 question 3 book page 128 on rough copy okay this is question number three fill in the blanks from the figure figure is given okay you people look it to this figure okay question number three here figure is given here O, O is the center of the circle. We discuss A, O is radius, O, B is also radius, O, P is also radius and A, B is the diameter. Now move toward the question. O is the dash of the circle. O is the center of the circle. A, O is the dash of the circle. A O A O is the radius of the 
circle. Okay, we discuss all these points on the previous page. Then A B is the dash of the circle, a line which passes through the center of the circle, and whose end points lie on the circle is called diameter of the circle. Remember, a line which passes through the center of the circle. and whose end points lie on the circle is called diameter so this is the simple definition of diameter also okay and look at here ab is the diameter of the circle okay now move toward op op is the dash of the circle we discussed that ob OA and OP are three radius of this circle. So OP is the radius of the circle. AB is equal to two times of dash AB. AB. What is AB called? AB is diameter of the circle. And we discuss on book page one hundred twenty-seven that diameter is double of radius when you people join two radius two times of radius is equal to diameter so two radius a o and o b are two radius these are one diameter so here a b is equal to two times of radius clear people just copy all these blanks in your rough notebook and draw this circle also these points and fill in the blanks okay work should be neat and tidy okay draw margin line properly ending line clear and draw proper shape clear and also revise the definition of diameter and radius and circle from the previous page okay clear that's are these are the important definition for you people objective point of view clear you people first revise these definitions you people just read out this page okay and then you people can easily fill these blanks clear student any problem no thank you